Hey friends, I'm back with another Trader Joe's haul. Can you guys believe it? So we have been heading up to Tucson just about every other week to go to Trader Joe's. Just, it's one of those things where we kind of stopped going for a while because it is a far drive. It's about an hour and 40 minutes to get there. And so it usually means like grabbing food or drinks or something and takes a good amount of time. So we had stopped going for a while and we were just kind of buying stuff locally um, at our just, you know, regular chain grocery store because that's pretty much only option we had. And then we went to, um, I don't even remember where it was, but we ended up getting Trader Joe's food um, on one of our vacations and we were eating at Trader Joe's and just that quality, it just reminded us of the quality. And so when we came home, we started going back to Trader Joe's a lot and now like when we try to buy stuff again at the store here is just not as good. So <laughs> we have just found ourselves heading up to Tucson and um, just making a day of it and going to the arcade or going to the zoo or doing something and then just picking up groceries at Trader Joe's. So I'm going to flip the camera and show you guys um, our haul. These are nowhere near as big as they used to be because like I said, we're going a lot more often but it's also replacing a lot of what we buy locally. So now we pretty much buy just our milk, um, sugar, things like that, that, you know, really aren't, that aren't so, so different, but um, other things like our cheese and our produce really makes a big difference. So I'm gonna flip the camera and show you guys what we got this time. So stick around to see the goodies we grabbed on this haul. All right, let's start over here. Now, it um, happens to be my husband's birthday coming up, so we have these mini carrot cakes for him. He picked those out. Um, and then we've got the Trader Joe's Halloween cookies. These are chocolate pumpkin-faced cookies with their vanilla bean cream. So they are the same taste. There's not a pumpkin flavor. It's just the pumpkin faces on them. But my kids wanted that. I have done a whole bunch, or I should say, we have done a whole bunch of Halloween decorating, and I'll be sure to share that with you in a home tour, but this is just adding to our Halloween stuff since we are now in October, finally. We got another couple jars of the Autumn Harvest Soup. We actually have not had the other one yet, but my husband saw these and wanted to grab them, so we grabbed those. Um, a couple more jars, which, you know, with a grilled cheese or something, it's so amazing and so good. And then we got some spice cider. We love spice cider. So we picked up three of those, grabbed some blueberry muffins because I just have not had a chance to bake and their blueberry muffins are delicious. This maple kettle corn, you guys have seen this in my last few hauls. I'm sure it's just going to be seasonal, but it is so stinking good. I hope they keep it. My daughter just discovered because she doesn't like kettle corn and then she came over and she grabbed a handful and now she knows that it's delicious. And so we had to buy two bags because now I have to share it. We got the movie theater popcorn and we grabbed three bags this time because we have absolutely loved this. We actually went to a regular movie theater and got the movie theater popcorn the other day and felt so sick afterwards. And I was just like, okay, from now on, I'm smuggling in my Trader Joe's one because it tastes so much better and it's so much better for you, but it still tastes like movie theater popcorn. So we absolutely loved it. Grabbed that. Um, like I said, grabbed three bags of that. Um, got some of these. Oh, we've gotten these before in the past. These are the oatmeal cranberry dunker cookies with the fudge drizzle. These are so nice to have like with your holiday drinks on the side. So we love having those. We put them by our coffee bar. The kids wanted a couple more fun, crazy pumpkins. We grabbed some more bananas. These were something new we hadn't seen before. The PB&J crispy peanut butter filled wafer sticks with raspberry fruit dip. We just thought for like um, afternoons in the parks or snacks when we're in town, that's a really great option. Option. Um, these are something my husband grabbed coconut crispy roll wafers. He knows I love coconut desserts, so he grabbed those. Um, and then we grabbed these plain little French sweet milk rolls. Um, they would be great for so many things. They say they're great for dunking and like coffee, tea, and hot chocolates because they're kind of like a sweet bread, but even just to use them, um, 
like with soup or something as just like little dipping breads. I thought that would be a really great idea. So, and then we're gonna come over here on the side of the stove and we've got our sourdough sandwich bread, which we love using for breakfast sandwiches. This maple streusel bread is so good as well. Um, lately, the kids and I have been doing like charcuterie boards for breakfast and we've been just doing brie cheese and salami and then like a little slice of this bread. It is so delicious, especially with that maple butter that we got a while ago, it was so good. My daughter already grabbed a slice. She just likes to eat Parmesan cheese, this like hard Parmesan cheese. She cuts off little pieces and eats it. She loves it. So for her, it's like a little snack. We got more avocados because the avocados there taste better than anywhere. I let my garden go to my ducks and chickens. So I'm back to buying zucchini. We love to grill it. We love to just like make Italian soup with it or just like saute it up. We go through a lot. It's pretty much everybody's favorite vegetable. So it becomes a side dish quite often. Um, they had the chunky guacamole, so we grabbed three of those for putting on top of nachos for just as an afternoon snack with some chips or some vegetables. Super good. The butternut squash is also really good. Um, I took this last time and I drizzled it with a little bit of olive oil and had some cinnamon and sugar that I just sprinkled on top and roasted it in the oven and it was really, really good. You don't have to make it sweet. You could always do it more of like a savory, but um, it just kind of... It's just like a great way to do it. You can microwave it. I don't like to microwave my vegetables, so just threw them in the oven at 450 for about 15 minutes and they were really good. So we love doing that. Um, and then like I said, because we've been having our charcuterie boards a lot, the brie cheese, we grabbed three of those. And that was really the only thing I went in for and we got everything else. So <laughs> um, we also got this pub cheese. We thought that would be great for little charcuterie boards as well. Some of the chicken sausage because we love doing those. And this is a new one. This is the buffalo style chicken sausage. They no longer have my favorite, which was the Italian. So I don't know. We're going to have to try this out, see what it's like. I'm super bummed because that Italian sausage, the Italian chicken sausage, I've been using for the past like 10 years. And I always rave about it and tell everybody about it. And now they don't have it anymore. And I'm so sad. So super bummed. Um, and then we got some edamame to make poke bowls or just for a snack. And then some pie crusts because I want to make um, green chili quiches. Um, they're, I love doing green chili, chili, chili cheese quiches. So that was it. Like I said, nothing too big or crazy. Um, we actually have our normal grocery store click list going in, picking up tomorrow, and that has all of our milks and stuff, like I was saying. Um, things like, I forgot our cooler bags, so even things like sour cream or things like that that I may normally get at Trader Joe's, I did not get because we just bought one cooler bag to grab all of the cold things that I knew we needed that we couldn't substitute locally for something kind of close. At least we have like organic like cheese and sour cream um, and milk that we can buy. So we're able to get that. But some of those things, like I said, like produce and like the cheese and some of the specialty items, there's just no substitute for. So that was my Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys liked it. Um, like I said, you're seeing a lot more of these on my channel. I love to hear what you guys like. If there's something special at Trader Joe's that you guys get all the time that you haven't seen in my hauls, please share it in the comments below because I love learning new things. And I feel like Trader Joe's has so many things that are maybe like unfamiliar with that I wouldn't grab or gravitate to unless somebody told me about them. Okay, so please share with me some of your tips below, um, some of your favorite finds from Trader Joe's. I'd love to hear about them. And if you guys like these videos, give them a thumbs up. And if you guys wanna continue seeing them, let me know in the comment section below. If you guys aren't interested, I'm sorry, I just like sharing them. I love watching these, like I said, to get ideas on what to buy. Um, and then just kind of showing people what we're eating so I think they're fun. I hope you guys enjoy them too. And I will be getting that Halloween home decor video up hopefully soon. So we'll see you guys all later. Have a beautiful, blessed day. Bye for now.